Welcome back to the Cleveland Way, day two. I've just set off from Oz Motherly just before 9am and today's route is 22 miles up, down, up, down, up, down, like a roller coaster ride of uh, emotions towards Great Ayrton. There's going to be some great sights today. There is also amazing weather. I'm going to keep the old fingers crossed there. Skip forward to tomorrow, it's not looking great. Saturday, it's questionable. But today, here and now, which is the only time that matters, it's amazing. You can really hear that road, the A172. I stayed at the Queen Catherine Hotel last night in Osmotherly and had a really nice sleep. I managed to get the video edited for a reasonable time. It did take a while to send the files to the phone, but I feel thoroughly refreshed this morning. Lisa's meeting me this evening at Great Ayrton and we've got an Airbnb book for the next few nights. She's gonna base herself there while she's working and uh, she's gonna join me at the weekend. Let's see if I can get through this gate. I am conscious that yesterday on the video, I waffled on a little bit. Ooh. It was quite a long one in the end, so I'm gonna try and be as brief as possible today and try not to string things out too much. First muddy section of the day. There's the trig on Beacon Hill. I don't fancy getting cut to shreds on the barbed wire. We've got our first view of the Matterhorn of Yorkshire, aka Rosebury Topping, right in the distance there. And we can pretty much see today's route. That's a good view. It's gonna be a good one today. Um, the views are already looking amazing. Fabulous, one might say. Um, yesterday, I keep talking about it, but cold Kirby, that bit around there was rather uninspiring and it left me feeling a bit, uh, a bit low just before I got to um, Sutton Bank. But yesterday afternoon was amazing, but there's no stopping it today. It's looking good. We've come off the moors now and we've descended down into the forest and we're nearing the village of Huthwaite Green. It's turned into quite a, uh, a nice wander today. Um, as I was saying, the weather's beautiful. Looks like we're in for a sharp climb up onto the moors again now. I don't mind that. I'd much rather be going up and down than do flat. Uh, keeps the legs moving in different manners. a very windy Carlton Bank. There's a nice icy breeze which is keeping the temperature down. place to choose for lunch. Just gone 12 and uh, the day's going well. I'm really enjoying this. Just taking it all in. On a clearer day apparently we can see Crossfell and Great Shunnerfell over towards the, uh, the northwest.
some really great sharp climbs on this. Just coming back down there, it reminded me of um, Kinder Low End in the Peak District. Really sharp, a real shin smasher. But as I mentioned earlier on, it's going to be a roller coaster all day. And we go again. There's Round Hill in the distance. I was definitely wrong yesterday and definitely wrong today. a little bit colder now just had lunch spent the last like 10 minutes just sheltering down there and now it's time to head out back on the trail We're making good progress now we're on this track i've said it already but i really enjoyed the first part of today um the climb up out of osmotherly and then the the continuous roller coaster with some serious drops it's like the oblivion at uh, alton towers some of those drops <laughs> but yeah i've really enjoyed it um some stiff climbs and some really sharp descents but thoroughly enjoyable day so far i mean it's not over yet i'm going to drop down to kildale and then see what time it is but um yeah um someone mentioned i think probably on social media somewhere when i mentioned that i was going to do this and they said that the cleveland way is an amazing walk and it packs a punch in such a, such a short uh, space of time and today i can testify that it definitely does um, yesterday I was thinking, because I'm constantly comparing it to the Pennine Way or <laughs> things like the West Highland Way as well, um, I shouldn't do that and today has really made it a challenge. Um, that was really good, it really was. got to stop. <laughs> what a view and what an evening. Absolutely amazing. I've um, just been speaking to Lisa. My plan um, for the finish for today is to get to the other side of Captain Cook's monument. There's a point where the Cleveland Way passes the road. It's a car park there so the other week, I um, made a little Google spreadsheet of all the different places that uh, I would stop. I did the same for the Pennine Way, actually, but uh, I've sent Lisa a Google Maps pin to the uh, car park. It's about an hour from the Airbnb where we're going to stay at Robin Hood's Bay for the next few days, and um, she's going to set off in a minute and come and pick me up. We're climbing out of Kildale, going past Bankside Farm. And whew, it's been a big day today. The legs can definitely feel it. If I'm honest, <laughs> I had to dig deep to want to do this last bit. Oh, 
but what we don't do today we have to do tomorrow so while the going is good and the weather's nice we may as well do it today it's going to be dark by the time i finish but head torch in the bag so totally fine And here we are, the Captain James Cook Monument. What a day, honestly. Cleveland Way, I take my hat off to you. <laughs> amazing, absolutely amazing. Just lay my hands on it there. Been wanting to come here for quite a while, actually. Having been born in Australia, the story of Captain James Cook um, is one that I've been interested in over the years. Today's route across those hills, amazing. Look at that though, look at that view at this time, just after golden hour of the Matterhorn of Yorkshire, the Yorkshire Matterhorn, aka Rosebury Topping. Looking forward to that one tomorrow. Fingers crossed for nice weather. I promised I wouldn't waffle on, but you know what I'm like. I'm uh, absolutely speechless today, honestly. It's been amazing. I'm gonna go as far as using the F word, fantastic. Um, today, I was comparing it to the West Highland Way and things like that. And the route today has been harder than any day on the West Highland Way. There might be more climbing up and down, but the sheer steepness and sharpness of those climbs and descents today um, made it tougher than any day that I'd done on the West Island Way, definitely. But I'm liking this. I was worried, you know, that the North York Moors haven't got the stature of uh, other walks and national parks and things like that. They're not as high, but they are equally as beautiful. Here she is, look. How do? Hello. You all right? Here Good to see you. Hi. How are you doing? I'm all right. 23.1 miles. How are you? I'm all right. <laughs> Just spent about four hours in the car today. I have, you? yeah. <laughs> Shall we eat? Yes, please. Yes, let's eat. Yes. Okay, so I'll leave it there for now. 23.1 miles through some fantastic scenery. I'm going to restart here tomorrow, but for now, we're going to get food and we're going to go back to the Airbnb and I'm going to get a shower. <laughs> okay, right, I'll speak to you all again tomorrow. That's bye from me. Bye. <laughs>